So have you managed to make many sales uh, beyond North America, say in China or elsewhere? Africa, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan. My name is Harold Warner. I am a businessman. I own a company called Dynamic Air Shelters. So Harold, who are the customers for these shelters? Our biggest customer base is petrochemical, the refinery sectors, chemical plants, and then military. This shelter might assimilate to some degree the performance of your car tire. When you hit a rock with your car tire, it will deform and it's resilient. It will come back into shape. Similarly, these structures are resilient like that. So if they're hit by a shock wave as a result of an explosion, they will reverberate and not collapse. So this structure is a safe structure to be in in the event of really severe wind gusts, high shock waves from explosions and the like. So sell me on these products. What's so great about them? Speed, portability, resilience. So this one that we're in would pack up into a relatively small package. So extremely wow. fast to set up. So for an emergency response right. situation. Yeah. Right. Well, we won the emergency hospitals for Texas because the speed of install, we put up 2,500 square feet of temporary hospital, beds in, oxygen on, one hour and 20 minutes. You are based in Calgary. You're, I live in Calgary, yes. Right. You're yes. not a Newfoundlander. No. Why in the name of all business sense would you build it so far away from the petrochemical industry? Why Newfoundland? Why here? Not, a, not even Newfoundland. Why Grand Bank? Well, in 2003, there was a project in Newfoundland tied into White Rose that I had a chance on. And uh, I came out here and I had a look at that project and I, 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 first thing I told people, I can't do it. And they said, why not? I said, I just can't hire people. I can't get enough people in Calgary to do it. Uh, I met a lady who said, could you teach Newfoundlanders to do this? And I said, yeah, but it's not a push button business. And she said, look, we'll cover the cost of you training these people. You give it a try. And if it works for you, you've got an opportunity without having lost anything. And that lady was Judy Foote, who just retired as the member of parliament for uh, Grand Bank. To follow on from there in the last 14 years, we have a very reliable staff. We have people who are committed to, to stay with us. We have great loyalty, uh, a, a much lower staff turnover rate than what we would have in something like, in a place like Calgary. Um, much lower infrastructure cost. And uh, being a startup, working capital is a big thing. So using my working capital to develop the product makes a lot more sense than it does uh, owning buildings and real estate. What do you like most about the success that your entrepreneurial ideas had here in Newfoundland? You know the guy from Radio Shack stopped me on the street and thanked me for being here because he named three families that had bought computers that it could never have uh, bought them. Because and of the jobs. Absolutely. We have people who are very well accredited, very intelligent people with, with uh, diverse uh, you know, education uh, behind them and they have an opportunity to really express and do the most uh, with that here. Were you ever tempted to say, okay, uh, it's been a good run in Newfoundland, but I want to get closer to where my customers are and I should move this to the mainland? Sure. Uh, you know, I, have I thought about it? I would be lying if I said I hadn't. Uh, have I ever taken that thought seriously? No, no, absolutely. Because I don't think I can replace what we have, uh, what we have going here. It must be a matter of pride too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because the reality is what, what gets you up in the morning with passion. For me, it's a creativity, relationships with people. And, and you know, it's meaningful. Right now, we're up, ups and downs with oil industry. So we're developing new products for new, for new, for new industries, new markets. And man, man, that's really, really exciting.